doesn't have to be a race. And don't, I'm not competing with anyone. I want everyone to win. But when I was younger, I didn't. change. I am Richard Tuturnji and today's episode we're talking all about weight loss, weight loss, business, marketing and I thought what a better way to kick off this uh, than get a, a legend in regards to the weight loss space and the marketing space. That's Jeff Jow. Welcome to the show. Thank you mate. Cheers. Thank you. <coughs> now yeah, for those who haven't seen Jeff's face probably on TV, we were just at the cafe and someone's going, hey I know you. Uh, Jeff ha has been uh, recognised on TV and everywhere across talking about weight loss. Uh, in fact, over a million uh, copies of uh, Body Trim has been sold, mm. helping a million people to shed their kilograms in Australia, which is absolutely huge. You're, you're, you started off with um, Vision Personal Training, uh, the personal training yes. studios, and kind of moved, moved towards all different, all different uh, businesses. A and now we're, we're talking about a new business, the Jowett Method, which I want to go on a bit deeper a bit later. Sure. Congratulations on all the success you had. Thank you very much. And I have, uh, I, I said to you just before, I said, hey, you, you have a master skill of understanding a, a gap in the marketplace and most importantly, being able to execute mm. on the gap. Thank you. That. Yeah, for sure. Look, I, I think that's very kind. I, I think uh, over the years, when we started out with vision, uh, PT back in 99, uh, had a passion for fitness, born yep. science degree, bodybuilder, and the big mega gyms were coming into Australia. So uh, I thought, why don't we go one-to-one -one small boutique studios? No one was doing it. Boom, Vision PT. Did that with my mate Andrew. There's about 60 of them now. Yeah. So we found a gap there. And, and the same thing with Body Trim. Um, back then in 2006, seven. It was meal replacements, it was chemist diets, it was pills. I thought, what about if uh, I, I can film my uh, knowledge, my engagement, motivation, and, and get a bunch of DVDs out there? No one was doing DVDs. Obviously, no one's got a DVD player anymore. <laughs> it's all changed. But yeah. back then, and a lot of people thought that wouldn't work. They said, well, look, that's not going to work because uh, you can't, there's no continuity model on DVDs, right. you yep. know, you've got to sell on pills and bars. And I didn't want to do that because I wanted education yep. to get out there. And, and we did that. And now, as I'll talk about later, the Jowett method, it's just the next step in the evolution. I'm 41 now. I was 30 when we did body trim and had a bunch of struggles myself. And that, the battles is where I learnt the most and, and have been able to now, I think, put that into this methodology to help people lose weight. Mm. And it's interesting because now the JARP method, and we'll talk about it shortly, is sure. about mindset. And, and talk about, you know, when people said, you mentioned a great golden nugget here, and a lot of people said to you, hey, that body trim won't work, that way mm. won't work. And you're saying, no, that will work. You can see something. How do you then execute on seeing something, but everybody's telling you, no, no, sure. no, no, it's not gonna work? Well, when we did vision, they said that wouldn't work because right. we weren't selling memberships. Yep. They said, that won't work. No one will pay one-on-one. -on -one. They did. No one will buy DVDs. They want pills. Well, they did. And now as we move forward and I'm building tribes online and, and belly to belly, yep. uh, the big thing for me, I, I, I think you've got to do what lights you up, what, what you're most passionate about. Because I've done businesses where I wasn't that passionate and they never worked. It was a mess. Short term? Short term. Yep. They fall over. You make mistakes. You team up with the wrong people. But if it's in your heart, and it really lights you up, and and and, and it's and, and and it gives you uh, more purpose and meaning. Then then magic happens. Universe provides, moves out of the way. Whatever it is, the magic happens at that place. And that happened with Vision PT. Happened with Body Trim in the early days, and it's happening now again with the tribes that I'm building because I do it for free now. And and that's the I know that's the old cliche, yeah. but it's funny. They're cliches for a reason. Mm. Right, there's cliches because they've been around since the dawn of time. And yeah. would you do this if you weren't getting paid? And if the answer is yes, you're in for one hell of a ride. And me coaching, motivating, speaking live, using the Facebook Live platform that was not around a few years sure. ago, yep. playing to my strengths after doing 10 years of live television, it's gold. And the transformations we're seeing. But most people, if you're onto a big idea, 
Yep. No one else is going to think it's a good idea because mm, it wouldn't be a big idea, right? So if everyone's gone, oh, that's a great idea, other people would have already done it. So, But how do you find that self-belief in you? How, how do you then go out? Because just, just, just to clarify here, um, you know, I, I brought Jeff on because, you know, at Body Trimmer, it's peak uh, $40 million of revenue, something like that. That's right, yeah, yeah. Huge numbers, over 100 staff. So we're not talking about, you know, what, what are you, what's coming out of your mouth is real life yeah, yeah. examples, yeah. Of a real decent-sized business. We've done it, yeah. It's not a... Been there, done that. It's yeah. not textbook. Um, I wasn't much good with the textbooks. I, was, <laughs> I just got in there and had a go and, and learn on the way. And So how do you get that pure self-belief? Well, um, you got to be. You, you can't be afraid to fail. Right. So you got to know that you're going to fail a bit, um, and be resourceful. So if I'm doing something new, don't you've got to pick up the phone all the time, ask for help, bounce ideas off people. You're just cobbling it together. Sure. And whereas most people, especially really smart people, yep. they always they get paralysed by fear, but also they never get off the starting line because I'll do it when I've got. Mm. Well, when's never going to happen? Mm. You got to do it now. You so got to take. So paralysed by fear, uh, don't wait. You know, do get it done today if you can. And and burn the boats as Tony Robbins talks about. Like with vision, we burnt the boats. Yep. We, we put all the dough in that we had. We leased premises. Healthland kicked us out of Sylvania, and uh, so I thought, bugger this. I said to Simo, I said, let's do our own. He agreed. We opened Carring Bar, burnt the boats, off we went. Sure. And you just, if you really, if you, I don't know, it, that's when the magic happens because you're forced to, to fully engage. Mm. It's like the power of full engagement. I came up with an idea of doing weight loss challenges and competitions and we went from one trainer to 30 trainers within about a year yep. because of that need to be resourceful. Body trim, I remember when we launched body trim, here's an interesting one for the entrepreneurs watching. For the first four months, we couldn't get the ads to work. The TV ads? We hadn't even done TV, we couldn't get print to work. Right. So Body Trim, let me paint the picture, one million people around Australia, New Zealand and the UK bought the DVD. So roughly- Huge numbers. So pr yeah, so probably three million people at least watched them, because it's like a magazine, you buy it, but the family reads it. Sure. Circulation sure. readership. So millions of people were helped through this. Like 30% of Australia? Yeah. Yep. Lot of, lot of people benefited now. For the first three or four months, we couldn't get the phone to ring. So I'd go down to Melbourne. I actually did a, a, I did a sh uh, it was called 9am with David and Kim. It was before yep. the circle. Anyway, I went down there, did my best. Never done TV ever. No idea. Always could talk. But I got on TV and I was like, we <laughs> it was horrendous. All my energy was gone. It was terrible. Anyway, we got no phone calls. Right. So we did this spot, pre-recorder. We did the thing, it's come on. And um, anyway, we're waiting there. It was a tiny little team we had at the time. But, but um, anyway, no phone calls. I thought the phones must be broken, blah, blah, blah. Checking Someone go and ring the phones. There must be a... <laughs> anyway, the phones are ringing fine. Yeah. No, no phone calls. We ran a couple of print ads. Yep. No phone calls. So this was four months in. Yep. Mm. So, we, yeah, we, it took us ages to make the product and because it was myself and my partner who are both very entrepreneurial but not both not that good with the mega details. So sure. we sort of bundled our way through getting the product <laughs> ready and yep, uh, too, yep. probably too many glasses of wine and whatnot, but we got there. Yep. Then we started advertising and the ads didn't work, but we knew the weight loss category. I was passionate about it. I'd been Australian Personal Trainer of the Year. I'd started Vision. He was involved with the Fat Blaster brand and, and had a successful exit out of that. So we had pedigree. Yeah. He had FMCG experience, fast moving consumer goods. He had a marketing background. I had the kudos, <coughs> pardon me, front of houses, the face and, and whatnot. Yeah. So this has to work, the weight loss category sure. is massive. But, so we persevered, we changed the offer, we went from a hard offer to a free trial offer. Okay. We were doing a part payments offer of, I don't know, three payments of 50 bucks or whatever. So we went to a free trial offer, just pay the postage. I had a knack for writing copy. Yes. So my, I'm hopeless spreadsheets, hopeless back office, hopeless all of that but I can write copy, I can speak, and anyway, so I wrote some new ads, yep. whacked one in the body and soul. I think the headline was how to break all the rules and turn your body into an automatic fat burner. Whoa. Anyway, we got 2,000 phone calls. From that headline, eh? Yeah. Amazing. And we were off to the races, and then once we, uh, once we worked out the model, the free trial, before and afters, we had the winner of the biggest loser, we put that person in there, the doctor. Once we understood the recipe, yep. whoosh, then we wrote, um, 
you know, really controversial headlines like myths, lies and exercise. Is exercise making you fat? Uh, Gee, we had Hollywood thighs, soap star stunner. We did all this direct to consumer so stuff. So really headlines were, were, the, headlines. were, were, were the number one for you? Yes, yeah, so Body Trim started in the Sunday press. So Body Trim started in Body and Soul and yep. early general news. Sun Herald, Sunday Telegraph, Herald Sun, etc. nationwide. We went around a national rotation. So we would do, I'd write, I had a couple of copywriters in the early days that really helped me with that. And yep. then I just sort of worked that out and wrote a lot of the ads myself. And... Um, it was headlines. It was all about the headline, and it's all, it's always about the headline. You got to get the headline first, and then you just it's like, you know, if you if you're doing a sketch, you do the 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 outline, and then you colour it in, mm. you know. And it's the same with writing above the line print copy or online, whatever it is. You get that headline right, and then you can split test everything these days. And so Facebook's so great literally, for that. what I'm hearing here is just that that all your time, a majority of your time. Um, and this is a great marketing tip, is headlines, is really getting that right. For getting sure. people in there first. Yeah, so I had in my office, so I was the creative director of the company, so I wrote, basically wrote all the advertising and my partner was the CEO. He ran the back office and the business sure. and I did the front of house stuff. So my office had two floor to ceiling whiteboards that were just covered with press clippings, headlines, and that was just my whole world and just grabbing people and, hey, what do you think of this? And blah, 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 and testing all over the place. Well, he's staying in a creative zone. Me, yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Because that's where I'm strong yep. and, and my partner was very strong uh, operations. And, so and double, double your strengths, double down your weaknesses. Yes, right? yeah, yeah. And we did that and it worked for, for really well for a long period of time. But the, we were a strong advertising company. We were essentially a marketing company. Sure. We would create our own products, bring them to market, one of which was Body Trim. That was about 80% of our revenue. We did a few other smaller weight loss products and some beauty products. We had a hair brand as well that, um, that Kate Hudson was the face of, the, the, right, the, yeah. the Hollywood the actress. actress yeah. I remember bowling into Kate Hudson's joint in <laughs> LA and meeting. It was just. It was something out of a movie, mate. It was mad, crazy times. We were all just doing our best. We were cobbling it together. Next minute, we're at Kate Hudson's joint. I think I was still drunk from the night before. It was just, there was just chaos on our way to Vegas and something. They should have done good a times. movie on it. It was good times and, and a lot, a lot of lessons learnt. But again, we were split, again getting back to the learnings. We were, we were split testing headlines all the time. And then once we got onto it, the big one for me was metabolism. I understood that. Um, I wrote a headline, Metabolism, The Secret Enemy That's Making You Fat. The Secret Enemy That's Making You Fat. Off it went really strong before and afters. But again, we did a lot of weight loss challenges. I love weight loss challenges before and after pictures. I love community. Mm. That's something, and I'll share more about that. Community. And let's talk about that. I mean, um, yeah, huge success. And let's talk about that because now you're moving on to the Jowett Method. Yes. Which, first of all, the name's pretty cool as well. Um, and... You know, when we're talking about that, your your avenue now into that marketing is communities, yeah. um, which is was quite innovative. When we say innovative, it's not like it's new, but it is innovative. When especially now with with marketing, it's about let's let's talk, 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 and shove stuff down people's throat. But uh, really, you're going back to the the roots Mate, of things. I went so far down the advertising route uh, um, with body trim and above the line media and media buying and planning and. That's not what I want to do anymore. I just want to help people. It sounds like cheesy, but it's not. And I'll, I'll explain why. I We did that at Vision. We did no advertising. We just helped people. They lost weight. They told their mates we yep. built a great business. Somewhere along the line, I actually uh, realised I had a problem with alcohol. And, and uh, really, you know, I'm your garden variety addict, uh, alcoholic slash addict, and ended up in AA and did a bit of rehab over in the States. And that was where I learnt connection. And, and it changed my life because you can chuck me in a room with 50 other uh, addicts or alcoholics and it doesn't matter if they're homeless or uh, Robert Downey Jr., Bradley Cooper, Hollywood movie stars. I've done a lot of recovery in, in LA yep. and um, you just bond. It's mm -hmm. a connection. It's the, I say connection kills addiction. They've done TED Talks on this connection. When you're disconnected, that's when you medicate with food, alcohol, drugs. And this is what gave me the idea to build online tribes, walking clubs around Australia. I call them walk and talk. Walk and talk? Walk and talk clubs. It's Great. connection. Great. So I jump on planes, I go around Australia, we bring people together, the walk clubs are free. All of this came out of, because with Body Trim, we'd made a, a lot of money. I had a little bit of fame, all the rubbish. I call it fool's gold. <laughs> and I was miserable. 
and I was a bit depressed and anxious and I just wasn't living my values. I wasn't aligned. I wasn't really conscious. I was medicating every day with alcohol. And then it all came crashing down and starting again was the best thing that ever happened. And J.K. Rowling, the Harry Potter yes. author, talks about this. If you're interested, Google J.K. Rowling's speech. She talks about her rock bottom being the solid foundation where she just did the one thing she could, which was right. Yep. She'd failed at everything she says and then wrote AKA Harry Potter came out. And, and that's what happens. You just go, what are you awesome at? What can you be amazing at? What brings you to life? I love coaching, motivating people, weight loss mindset, life. I think I'm a good life coach these days because I've my life went down the toilet, I hit the skids, and then I got into uh, the AA program for me. Now, a lot of people can have one or two drinks, no problems. Yep. Good on ya. I wish I could, <laughs> but I can't. One too many, one's too many and 50's not enough. So, <laughs> you know, that's just me and, uh, and not even 50, it's more like 100 and I'll see you in a week. <laughs> but that's just how my brain chemistry yep. works. I'm all or none. But you've got to know yourself. But that's what gave me the, the connection. And I thought, you show me an obese person, I'll show you someone who battles food addiction, mm. uh, binge eating. And, and because I am so open, vulnerable, transparent, people in my groups share the same right. way. So in, in that, we have this amazing, it's a safe place. Mm -hmm. We say, you know, what happens in the tribe stays in the tribe. Yep. A bit like Vegas, right? <laughs> <laughs> what happens in the tribe stays in the tribe. People share so openly. And there's so much strength in it. And the reason there's strength in it is when people share openly, like-minded people, you realise you're not alone. You know, I bowl into AA or rehab and I find out these things that have happened to other drug addicts or alcoholics and whatnot. And you're like, that's me. Yeah. That's me. That's me. The, oh, God, thank God it's not me. Mm. You get this release. It's not just me. I'm not alone. I'm not isolated. Same with overweight people and their emotional binge eating patterns. They medicate with food. Overweight people generally medicate with food. I say, do you medicate or celebrate with food? 99% of people say yes. So that my mantra is food for fuel, not comfort. Mm, that's great. So you've identified, and what I'm hearing here, you've identified if you go deep and understand that community, um, together you can achieve anything. If it's weight loss, if it's, if it's alcohol addictions, whatever that may be. And so your new program, Jeff Jowd, is yes. basically instead of going straight, okay, take this pill, do this exercise. Instead, you're saying go to the mind first. Look, great question. And, and what I do now, short answer, yes. I've even got a thing called, well, it's the Jowett Method, but I've got an iceberg. Yes. And you've got above the surface, yep. food walking gym. Above the surface of the iceberg. Then below, you've got limiting beliefs, self-sabotage, negative self-talk, toxic people, and all of the deep stuff. And I say do the stuff people can't see for the results they can. And it's life changing because everyone's, oh, I'm at the gym and I'm eating well in public, but what are you doing in private? Because you're not addressing the deep stuff. What's happening when the doors are closed and the blinds are down? Everyone's the same. So my message, I shout from the rooftops, the best thing that ever happened to me was I was an alcoholic because it made me change my life. I do that not to get attention, but to show people it's okay to be vulnerable because mm. we're all paralyzed by fear of what other people think. Now sure. I want to build safe tribes where people can come together and share their deepest, darkest secrets, because everyone's got a lot of, but bad stuff happens to good people. Yep. That's the world we live in. Rocky Six, it's a cruel, mean, nasty place. Yeah. That is the world we live in, but we have to get on with it. We have to draw a line. And that's really good. I think when you can understand that that is happening to everybody in some way, shape yes. or form, you start to say, yeah, maybe I can get on with it, you know what I mean? And you, and you listen to these other people, they turn their life around. I'm interviewing a lady tonight, she, she's 66 years yep. old, lost 83 kilo, Whoa. right? 66, and, but had a very tough life, a lot of stuff happened, but was not a victim anymore. We all play the victim for periods of time. Some people do it for a day, a week, a month, a year, some people do it a lifetime. But other people have the ability to say enough's enough. That wasn't really fair, but I have to have a level of acceptance around that and I have to move forward. And it's the same in business when things don't go right. And, and, and silly thing, not silly, but you know, things like gratitude lists when you're struggling, like you write a few, like, you know, I knew this stuff for years, but I always thought I was too smart. I don't need to do that, I'm too smart. Pretty sure I wasn't too smart. Pretty sure my life imploded. So yep. again, these basic things that they've been teaching us for 2000 years are gold. Mm. 
I love that because it kind of gets us back to reality, back to grounding, back to the ABCs, back to the basics of what you have to do. And, and maybe moving on to that, we have a lot of personal trainers, fitness um, professionals watching. If we can sum up your, your business success, what, what would be the, you know, the one or two you know, things that, that you can really do on a low budget, low cost to make an impact sure. into their community? What, what would you recommend? Um, I definitely have a Facebook group. I think they're critical, that's yep. free. Get people in tribes, they need it. Before and after pictures are critical. Yep. So nothing beats good before and after pictures. Mm. Don't, be, don't be so innovative you forget to do the basics. Because yep. remember, what's in W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me? So you sh and, and from all shapes and sizes, all walks of life, from 18 to 80, before and after pictures, transformations, interviews, Facebook Live, whatever it is, get that stuff out there in your community. It's called social proof. So fitness business, whatever business it is, lots of testimonials, lots of before and after pictures. Put people into tribes. The tribes are the glue that holds it together. Sure. So I'm building the tribes now and I'm so proud of the tribes and so grateful, but really, What's the magic thing about the Jowett Method and, and Think Trim? It's called Think Trim, this group that I'm running. It's the tribe. Mm. So I will do, I do live broadcasts 7 a.m., 7 p.m., and they're great and it's coaching and whatnot, but it's the interaction and the support and the commentary from the tribe members. Yep. You, you just can't put a price on mm. that. And it's people aren't walking alone. Because if, if someone wants to change their life, you want to build a business, you're not necessarily going to get support from your partner your friends, a lot of your friends are gonna be jealous. If you're starting a business and you're going good, yep. your friends will be like, oh, what are you working for all the time? You're boring. Mm -hmm. yep. They're gonna feel threatened by the path you're on. Sure. So people won't yep. all support you. You know, you, you're building this. A lot of people, winners will support you. Winners will go, mate, that's awesome, keep kicking ass. But not everyone's a winner. And most of society, and I hate to say it, but Australia, is the tall poppy yeah, we've got capital. The big tall poppy syndrome. Mate, and I've been locked down many times. Like the haters are gonna hate just just whatever, just run with it. At the end of the day, if everyone's bagging you, you must be doing something <laughs> right. You know, I've right. got more testimonials than, than just about anyone in the weight loss and health space. So I've done a bunch of stuff, right? I'm not perfect, but you're gonna get a lot of people, oh he's this and he's that. Pretty sure you never met me, but thanks so much for your feedback. That's incredible. Yep. You're gonna get a ton of that on your journey, sure. but know that when you start kicking goals, dreaming bigger, the people closest to you won't always support you. That's why you need tribes. That's why you need a joint like Com, for example, to be in a tribe, in a club, get around like-minded people who lift you up. Business building, marketing, weight loss and health, whatever it is, you've got to get around people. Same journey, same time. Because then everyone is going to support you. They're going to share your wins. You've got to join tribes. You can't do it on your own, especially as I get older, it's too hard. When it's fueled by ego as a young man, like you can do it for a period of time, but even if you build the biggest business in the world, you're surrounded by idiots and, and hangers on, because Hanger you're on, yeah. hangers yeah. on and, yeah. and, 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 and you're miserable. Yeah. So you want to share the wins with good people. That's why I, I'm obsessed with tribes and that's why now getting around Australia, walk and talk groups, mm -hmm. that's what lights me up. I love it. And, and I like it even more because you know what you're hearing, you're hearing real, uh, actionable things that have happened, which I love. And uh, I think from the, the recaps on that, some of the golden tips we just heard is that communities go deep in that. And um, you know, for the marketing and success stories, case studies, mm. um, I think that's powerful because when you can actually show that, uh, it, it, you, you've got to pause everybody and the haters will hate, but you've got the success, you've got the results, which is most important. That's what people are actually coming for, Look, which I love. Success stories, success stories, uh, communities. Yep. Facebook's made it really easy with the, with the uh, private groups. Get that going, but also don't underestimate things like weight loss and health challenges. But every month on a Sunday night in your business, have a social event. Mm. Just at a local restaurant. People, a lot of people are lonely. A, a lot of people want to feel involved. Do the basics. So look, the online platform's awesome, but you want a hybrid model. Mm. So you want to bring people together through groups, then you want to bring them together belly to belly as well. And that is gold. Like the walking groups I do, they post into the group, women and men all around Australia. They're only groups of three or four because we're spread out so wide. Yep. But these people, they've never met each other. They go for a walk, they have tea and coffee for an hour or two later and a massive instant connection and bond. There's strength in that. Changing lives just by that, uh, that, that human connection, which is, which is powerful. And I love like 
the, the, the method, the online, the offline, I think that's very powerful, especially today when we're going more online, I think it will come back to communities. And I just did a Facebook Live about it today around the changes on Facebook and everything you're saying is exactly what uh, you know Mark Zuderberg and what Facebook are doing is Good. going to communities. So it's like marketing hasn't changed what we've heard. It's just that we have to have sometimes an awakening to go, hey, it's about, it's about your community. It always has been. Can I, and <coughs> just on that, I'll, I'll just say that because we did a lot of advertising and I probably ch was chasing more ego and fame for a period mm. of time than anything else, that's not the way. That is not the way. The Maserati or the Ferrari doesn't get you there any better than the Mazda. Sure, if you've got heaps of dough, buy a nice car. It doesn't make you any happier. Sure. Let me give you the gold Rolex. Tells the time no better than your mobile. No, just it. take it on board. I've done all that rubbish. I've done all that rubbish. Like You can do so much more with your dough than buying all the trinkets and, and, and the rubbish. Never again for me. It is, it's a trap for me. Yep. So I won't go down that road ever again. Nothing wrong with making a ton of money, but I'll use it differently, differently moving forward. And with that in mind, to scale my businesses now, service. So the, the true north be of service, not ego. So what does that mean? That means that I am the number one driver is to help the people in my community. Yep. That's what I'm doing, trying to be of, be of value, helping those members transform their bodies, their thinking, their life, not I've got to grow my business. I've got to be here. It's going to happen. It's going to be happen. But my outlook on life's different. 50 years, we're all dead. So just relax. Don't, don't stress too much. Like as a young bloke, oh, I've, got to, oh, I've got to have the biggest business. I've got to do it now. You, you, you don't. Mm. You just don't enjoy the ride. The speaking of the ride, I said this to you before, I'm learning to ride horses. Wednesday, 2 p.m. I'm at, like, it doesn't have to be a race. And don't, I'm not competing with anyone. I want everyone to win when I was younger I didn't mm. I, I, I love that because when you say I want everybody to win uh, ultimately because you you know you've been the ups you've been the downs mm. you can actually say it authentically yeah uh, a lot of people say yeah good on you but they don't really mean it so I, I feel the difference then especially so I think I think a lesson here if you are going through a down or you have been through a ditch um, it's okay it's normal we get back up we get back on the horse and we keep riding through and totally and in addition you got to get back to your true north. So me at my best was helping people, being of service, connecting, motivating. It wasn't coming up with uh, really clever advertising and different products and line extensions and cookies and protein balls and it's helping people. That's my thing. That gets me out of bed in the morning. And you do that and I believe there's never been a better time for this viral word of mouth marketing because of social media. Yeah. So I've got these men and women all around Australia making up posts each and every day, cutting videos for me. I'll do videos in the group. They will edit it because it, what's funny, these people have so many skills. So they'll see a video, they'll chop it up, put a few supers on it, a bit of overlay, and all of a sudden you've got this blooming showreel or promo video. I've done nothing. They have created. It's all user generated. Use, right. And I've never had that in my life because I've always, I've, just, yeah, I, I, I've never been as authentic as I am now, but I had to hit rock bottom. I actually think I hit rock bottom and then there was a bit more of a crevice <laughs> and I <laughs> fell down the crevice and I was a bit stuck. Yep. And then I climbed my way back up and I laugh about it now, but it was a dark time. And I just, I don't, he said, what drives you? I just don't want people to be in that dark hole. And you can look at someone who's kicking a massive goal and they might, they, there's a good chance they're miserable because they're doing it for the wrong reasons. And I, there's another way to live. There's, a, there's a higher, a higher um, frequency to live on. Pam Grout wrote a book, you should all read this, Thank and Grow Rich. Not Thank. Think, thank. thank. So Napoleon Hill wrote Think and Grow Rich back in the early 1900s, I believe. But Pam Grout wrote a couple of books. She wrote E Squared on um, energy and vibration. Really good book, yep. E Squared. Then she wrote E Cubed. But Thank and grow rich. Gratitude. Jeff, uh, I want to thank you so much for, for, your, for your amazing story and your words of advice, wise words of advice. Great to be here. Thanks for having me and congratulations on everything you guys are thank doing. Thank you. Appreciate that. And I want to, uh, I want to kind of like mention that if you uh, like anything that you heard about today, you must go and see your Facebook page. It's, it's phenomenal. The information that you share is crazy. Yes. A lot of free stuff there. So it's the Jowett Method. The Jowett Method on Facebook, my Facebook business page, at the Jeff Jowett. So jump on there. We do free broadcasts most morning just 
again, giving away all the tips and secrets and methods. Yeah, it, it's amazing. There's so much resources there. So do yourself a favour and, uh, and start your best life when you listen to this. Thanks so much. Thank you. So uh, thanks for watching Industry Change. Thanks for tuning in. To listen to this on iTunes, simply go to iTunes, search Industry Change, and you can find the episodes here. You can also search the episodes for YouTube if that's a preferred platform for you. Otherwise, you can go to my website, richardtoturnji.com, or you can also see it on commarketing.com.au. Thanks so much. I will see you next time on Industry Change.